Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a brand new series of Sim Airport. Um, if you want to know more about me, head out to masterhellish.net. But this game I saw on a YouTube video as a recommended game to watch um, in uh, well, whenever it comes out. It's like a, it's a game coming up, coming games sort of thing. And I, I thought, wow, that that looks quite good. It looks a bit like Prison Architect, which is a good game, and the, a lot of the premises were the similar and. And also, I quite like the idea of building my own airport. It came highly recommended, and I watched a few YouTube videos on it, and I thought, this is something I want to get involved with. So, thanks very much to my Viewer Plus subscribers, I was able to purchase this game. So, thank you very much to everybody who's part of the Viewer Plus program. Uh, your contributions mean that I can bring new things like this to you. I'm quite excited about this. I don't know whether you can hear the excitement in my voice, um, but, yeah, this... This is this is something I really really am looking forward to, and it is you've got a similar sort of premise. If you see my um, Prison Architect you, series, you've got a similar sort of premise. There's a road. Uh, we're going to have little people walking around. We have to build rooms and designate zones. Um, but this is this is an airport. We've got a runway and a taxiway and a building and a gate. This is the basic starting airport that you deal with, and uh, there's baggage claim and ticketing and all sorts of things. Now, from what I understand, this airport, as it is, will just not do. We need to make some adjustments, and we've got about a quarter of a million pounds to do that with. So let's buy a few things. First things first, this security here, okay? We've got one ID check stand, one baggage scanner, and one metal detector. I feel that we can do better than that. Now, uh, if we've got the game paused at the moment, and we've got drop-offs and pickups and all that sort of stuff down here. We've got uh, deliveries and we've got a few members of staff, including uh, a couple of workmen. Uh, now, it looks like we've got three workmen. So first out, right out the bat, two more workmen. Um, jobs are good on that one. Now, next thing off is this drop-offs area, right? This zone. Okay, we're going to de-zone that because why do we want people being dropped off miles away from ticketing? That just, just makes no sense whatsoever. So what I've done is is that um, t to prepare for this series, I've watched a few different bits and bobs here and there. Hang on, that's drop-offs. Is that what I meant to do? Drop-offs. Yes, it is. Warning, the airport has zone problems. Requires a drop-off zone. There is one now. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I watched a few videos, and I've got a few tips. I've had a few tips being given. So um, I've taken those tips, and I'm working on a few things. Now, one of those tips was to build a gate. Now, I don't know, do tools, roads, road, what's that, fence, foundation, floors, all, mm, not sure, object, gate, can we search, gate, outdoor gate, brilliant, right, I'm going to put an outdoor gate in, and I'm going to put it in there, and one over here as well, and we're probably going to have several iterations of this whole airport, I mean, look at the size of the map we've got to work with here, if we're going to bound to have a couple more runways, and Oh, I, I can't wait. I've, I've always wanted to do this. I, when I've travelled before, I've been lucky enough to travel and um, those that pickup zone's got to go. I've been lucky enough to travel uh, via air a few times. One of the times is when I went to see uh, Robot Wars in Glasgow. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, deliveries, drop-offs. Was it? What did I just get rid of? It was departures, wasn't it, of some description? Kitchen, calf, baggage, deliveries, office, mail, restroom, garbage, pickups. What? What did I just delete? Why is it not there? Is it because the game's paused and it hasn't figured it out yet? No idea. No idea. Okay, never mind. Uh, that pickups, that's it. Found it, pickups. Jesus. Right, um... But yeah, I, I was lucky enough to travel by plane a few times, and it's always interested me as I've gone around the airports. I'm thinking, wow, I, look at the way that the walls snake around this, or um, the way that the floor plan is laid out to pipe you through here and then make you go through there. I, I've always found it moderately interesting. Um, so um, we've moved those zones there so that the drop-offs and pickups are near the main doors. There's baggage claims. So that's where people are going to be 
going before they leave and ticketing I'm guessing that's where people come when they start their journey we've got security I'm gonna redesign security I'm, I'm just basically gonna double up security because one of the tips I had was um, one lot of security stations isn't gonna be enough this gate desk let's dismantle that that's in the way now one of the first things I want to set up is a baggage system so if we go objects you can look you can get a ba baggage carousel that's got an, uh, an initial outlay, but also an hourly rate that it costs to run. Um, wow, we've got large, small aircraft gates, um, large ones and extra large ones, uh, aircraft towers, benches, and all sorts of fantastic things. Um, if you haven't seen this game before, there's um, even though it's still in alpha, there's lots of really interesting things going on with it. Now, I can't see a small hangar, so I'm just going to check... Hanger. Oh, there it is. Small hanger. Um, it's twenty-eight thousand. Uh, requires a lot. Of, you can have one vehicle, one service vehicle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have one service vehicle. And we're going to rotate that. Now, it has to go up against the edge of either. It, does it, can it go up against runway? Yes, it can go up against runway or um, taxiway. And I'm going to put it over here. I think we'll put it right on the end of this taxiway. There we go. Now the reason why we've got this um, small hangar, or we will have when it's built, is because that is part of the baggage system. That's the my main focus today, is to get a, a functioning baggage system. Uh, and we've got lots and lots of other things we need to do as well. But let's unpause the game, because we need to get our workmen to come up. They've got a long way to come as well. And they're going to start working on these sorts of things. Now we've got deliveries I'm gonna move deliveries as well you know what deliveries and storage are both going to move there we go so uh, deliveries I'm gonna put deliveries here like this and storage security storage there we are we put storage there like that what storage I said there we go brilliant um, Failed. Minimum size. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, I've got to get rid of that storage zone first. We're only... So get rid of... We're only allowed one storage zone. That's fine. So yes, well, as you may have guessed, I am new to this game, but um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can do and what, how we can grow this airport in, in this... Uh, in this let's play I'm, 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 I'm intrigued now it looks like those gates now those gates are under construction as well they're taking apart security first they're going to take apart this gate ticketing I'm quite happy with as it is but we're going to rebuild security and we're going to rebuild the, the um, ticketing stands um, it's the baggage that I'm really worried about at the moment I want to be able to sort that out pretty quick so let's get a baggage carousel let's put our first one over here so what we want to be able to do is collect connect a barrage carousel up with let's let's um, increase the priority of that gate so they can do that first uh, to the ticketing desk and the ticketing desk to the oh I want to move the hangar now cancel project right small hang hangar small hangar just realize I want it higher up about there should do it. That's fine because I want to make room for something to do with the baggage stuff. Let's have a look. Decor, structure, seating, comfort. Ops. It'll be under ops, won't it? Right. So we have a ticketing desk. Uh, baggage carousel. Body scanners. Well. Is it under ops? Well, workmen are costing us money. Structures. Well, that's weird. Right, hang on. What's going on? At least one aircraft gate must be functional. Security zone has not met requirements. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll sort out the security zone now. Um, so we're going to put the bag scanner back in in a slightly different position. We're gonna put, we're going to put two in like that. There we go. And then we're going to get... Um, what's that over there? Agent desk. What's that one? 
That's the bag scan. Oh my goodness, we've accidentally... Let's cancel that project. Hopefully we don't get too many bag scanners delivered. Oh, is that a new bag scanner? Oh, it's the, it's the asphalt and steel for the um, small hangar. That's fine. Um, right, okay, so we've got a bag scanner being built. You know what, let's... Let's come back to that, let's come back to that. Gate agent desk. Let's put them in. I want... Uh, no, not there. That's a small sliding door. So what we're going to do, we're going to yeah, we're going to leave room for expansion. We're going to put two agent desks in. There we go. Now, uh, utilities. Ha ah, ha ha ha. This is what we're looking for. Uh, there's a baggage depot. Okay. Uh, the baggage depot is where the bags are picked up and then loaded onto the plane. So I'm going to put that next to the taxiway. Okay, so the hangar is where you can get the baggage cart. The baggage cart picks them up at the baggage depot and takes them to the gate to be sorted. Um, now, what we need is some sort of baggage hub to manage um, the sorting of the baggage from various different places. And it looks like... Yeah, this one's got two R's. H, I, I don't know what the R's and H stand for, but basically they, they connect to each other. So do I go for a large hub? Or, is, oh no, no, the larger hubs are very expensive in comparison, so... I don't know what, oh my goodness. No, 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 we're going to go with a small hub to begin with. And uh, we're going to rotate that. No, we're not, that's the wrong button. So let's try that one. I thought that would rotate it. No, R rotates. Okay, fair enough. Um, so what we can do is we'll put that one... We'll put it there like that. The idea is these conveyor lines should just connect. So we've got R to R, and then H to H. And then we've got these H's here. We'll get them to come outside and then come along. like that. So we've got the ticketing desks collect the bags and they go along the conveyor belt into the baggage hub. The baggage hub will send it to the baggage depot and when the baggage depot receives baggage it will go into the baggage hub and come out this way. So there. I might have to rework that later as we get more baggage carousels and hubs and so forth. But for now, I think that will work. It certainly looks like it. Right, okay, so that's the baggage area thing sorted out, and it's probably one of the most expensive parts. Let's um, just focus now a little bit on ticketing. So we've got two ticket desks here. That's fine. That's going to be okay to start with. Um, I'm thinking we do want a ticket ticketing kiosk people will be able to come and purchase tickets if they haven't got any bags to drop off so now it's time to put in some queues um, and I'm just gonna do I think one big queue here like this yeah there we go one big queue so We've got our queue. What we're going to do is we're going to go assign the queue and assign that there. So if we click... Uh, how do we get out of this? Uh, if we click... That ticketing desk is assigned to the queue, as is that ticketing desk. So both ticketing desks are assigned to the same queue. That's fine. That's what I want. Security, still not sorted out. We've got three staff all trying to operate the same piece of, uh, piece of machinery as well. We'll put a second bag scanner in there and an ID check stand. Now I dismantled the other ones previously so that we could start this again. So I wasn't happy with the layout. I'm going to put metal detectors in there and there. Brilliant. Right. So that's for people going in. Now, on the way out, we don't want people to go through security. So we're going to have to have some sort of bypass so that they can get past security into the baggage claim, which means building 
foundations. That's going to cost 19 grand. That's going to cost 21 grand. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll put that in foundations in first and we'll see how it goes. Now, it's saying we must have at least one aircraft gate. Now, we have an aircraft gate, but it requires to be assigned to a gate. So, we'll assign it to that gate. Assign. There we go. Should stop complaining now. Uh, zones. Security zone requirements are not met. Well, we've just sorted that out. We've got a second desk that requires a gate to be assigned to it, but it's not constructed yet. So let's get that queue in. So, uh, brand new queue. It's going to go like this. Nope, I went too far. Shrink the queue. There we go. No, 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 no. I ended up starting a new queue. I didn't want to do that. These queue controls are a little bit weird, but they work. They're nice. So we've got a queue. We've got desks. This is where they'll go in. We're going to try and get two agents stood at the booth. Now, the only other thing we need to put a queue for is security. So if we do something... See, I, I want to build both queues at the same time. To try and make it so that they... I want them to be the same. I want them to be symmetrical or the same sort of layout. What if we just did something like... Oh. No, not like that. Back, back, back. Hey? Eh, eh. eh? Oh, hang on a minute. There we are. I misclicked. Okay, so let's wiggle this round here a little bit. There. And then we'll do the same here. So I'm just trying to just trying to do a few different mods to to this airport to try and get it a little bit more slick. Right. So let's do a little bit of a recap. Um, a few tips that I had and that I'm executing is outdoor gates so your workmen can get uh, to the other parts. Done that. Um, set up a baggage system. Well, we're not quite there yet. Um, queues for ticketing along with some new booths. Uh, double up security, which is in progress, and double up the gate, which is in progress. We nearly have a basic running airport, or we'll do when we actually have some people come in. These guys look like they're just waving... Um, are they jackhammers? I think they're jackhammers in midair. I think it's because, yes, they're putting in the uh, the bottom, the, uh, the belt. Conveyor line, that's what it's called. Conveyor line. Put it in conveyor line. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how complex this can get and how much I have to rebuild in the future. Uh, the security zone is still not built yet, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get there. I'm not really happy with this ticketing zone. Oh, I've just had an idea. Just had an idea. See this? Yeah. Cancel that. Cancel that. Um, we go zones and put a second ticketing zone in here. We can put those booths in. Now, if I put a brand, if I put brand new ones in, brand new ticketing kiosk, is it going to cost me some more new money? Yes, it is because those ones haven't been taken back down to storage yet. That's fine. We'll go with four. There we are. We've got four coming in. Right. We've spent about half of our money. I'm quite happy with that. Um. I might get a... We've got five workmen. Uh, we're going to need uh, more security staff. Uh, because you need one security staff for each piece of equipment. There we go. Uh, we're going to need another member of staff, I think. So we've got two up there at the booths, and we need two down here. Brilliant. Uh, workmen. We've still only got five. And I'm quite happy with that for now. Right, so one of the things that we're going to have to do in a bit is schedule flights. So we have a schedule here where you can decide um, where, when you want flights to come in to your gate. At the minute we've only got one gate, so on the schedule we've only got one row to fill up. And airline interest, so we can decide what aircraft we want to accept into our airport. However, um, there's a night option, which we can't accept that. 
it requires one runway to be upgraded with lights it says so I think that is a really important thing that we need to start with we need to start uh, with a light upgrade for the runway so if I click the runway and click upgrade runway lights brilliant okay so where do they go they go at the end Oh, they go at both ends. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Right, what does that say? Requires a secure area. I think we're getting a lot of error messages now. Well, at least one aircraft gate must be functional. At least one runway must be functional. Security gate. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay. So, the outdoor gates, I think, have been sorted out. So, why does that require a secure area? I'm sure it is secure. We've got we've got a fence up. That's definitely secure. Okay, well, let's do some fast forwarding. So it's day one at the moment. What I want to be able to do is before the end of day one is I want to schedule some flights for day two, but I'm not going to do that if things aren't going to be ready. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to double up on staff. We're going to put them down here. One, two, three, four, five. We can always fire them later. I know it's a bit of a cost but we need to get things sorted out and now it's raining so let's have a look at the utilities utilities are doing quite well most of the baggage system is being built in fact it's just got this last bit here that needs to be sorted out and I think with the rate that we're building the baggage system I think we'll be all right to order our first aircraft unless something goes horribly wrong security's been sorted out now look yep there we go so security shouldn't really be a problem at the minute uh, I don't think don't know um, they're building a lot of wall for this foundation why is this aircraft gate require secure area I thought it was secure. Requires secure area. Why is this area no longer secure? What's this? Oh, hang on. I think we're okay now. I think it's realised that... Oh, it's because this area was being built. Right. So, let's pause the game a second and fix my terrible building. Um, what we want to do is demolish this wall here. One minute. Must be near outdoors. What? I have no idea what we're talking about. Clear. Dismantles objects. Removes walls. There we go. Remove this wall. Brilliant. In addition, remove that wall and these two walls. Brilliant. Okay. Do that. And then we're going to put a, some doors in, or some gates, or something which will allow our people to only walk through one way. Security exit, there we are. Um, now, if I rotate this, I can put one there. I can't put one there yet until they've sorted that wall out, but I'm sure they'll come and sort it out soon. There we go. Let's rotate this gate. Uh, so we want only one way through that way there we go that means they can bypass security on the way out now fantastic so ticketing's looking good oh we, we could, should be able to put our other ticketing kiosk in how many do we have in stock two in stock it says um in the little brownie color under the price there price is zero because we have some in stock we've already paid for them once so we'll put those in there so we've got a ticketing zone with ticket kiosks um requires at least one aircraft hangar with a buggy so we need it to add a baggage car there we are so we've got a baggage car there now and we require a gate to be assigned so we'll assign it to that gate and this gate desk will assign to that gate and to this queue and this gate desk will assign to this queue so they queue there Go to the gate, desk, and then go to the gate. Brilliant, fantastic, out of the room. Well, I think we're looking good here now. Where's our other member of staff gone, though? Where's Boris? And our workers are just doing nothing. 
Hang on, staff. We've got four staff. Well, where is... Oh, hang on a minute. Borisina, sorry. Borisina. Um, yes. I think we have a basic function airport. So, um, join me next time where we will be scheduling our first flights ready for day two. Um, I'm quite ha quite happy with the modding that I've done of this initial airport. I really wanted to flash this out, get it smashed to the point where I felt that we'd done enough that it would work and it would be functional. I feel like we've got the basics now. I feel like I've fixed it up. So hopefully next time the aircraft can come in, the people can come in, and we can look at starting to making some money and look at starting to expand. We'll look a little bit more about how the game works and how we can make people happy and how we can increase air, increase aircraft ratings and expand later. But I hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind of a start to this game. I'm really excited and looking forward to see what's going to come next. And I just wanted to get to this point where we can start getting aircraft in next time. So thank you very much for watching any thoughts ideas and questions down in the comments section if you're new and you uh, want to see more of this or any of the other videos uh, the videos i do please consider subscribing and i will see you all soon take care and for now goodbye <laughs>